The movie begins with a nighttime security guard terrified as he flees the security office through the vents. He is pursued and captured by Foxy, who restrains him to this seat while we watch a Freddy mask made of moving metal parts start to close in on his head. The guard desperately attempts to loosen a boat and free himself, but it's too late. The mask shuts over his face as we cut to Mike working a more security-related job. Mike is discussing dream theories with one of his co-workers. The idea that, though your brain may censor or forget memories, you can explore them in dreams and uncover details you were previously unable to see. In the mall, Mike witnesses a child being swiftly taken by a man. Thinking the man is a kidnapper, he chases after him and attacks him in a mall fountain. When it is discovered that the man is the child's father, Mike loses his job. After that, Mike meets career counselor Steve Raglin. Mike needs assistance finding a job, but after reviewing his files, Steve notes that he has held several jobs for brief periods of time, which makes it nearly impossible for him to find a job. After that, Steve reads Mike's full name, but stutters and doesn't finish his last name. Steve looks surprised. Suddenly, Steve suggests a nighttime security job for Mike. Mike says no since he has to take care of his sister Abby and cannot work at night. In case Mike changes his mind, Steve gives him his business card. When Mike gets home, he checks on his shy, introverted younger sister, who enjoys drawing pictures and talking about her imaginary friends. Mike then goes to sleep for the night and has a nightmare. A younger Mike is shown with his family. His mom asks him to look after his younger brother Garrett, but Mike gets distracted. After that, as he searches for his brother, he hears a car engine turn on. He rushes to see his younger brother being driven away in the back of a car. Mike chases the car but can't catch up to it, he then wakes up. The following day, Mike and his sister attend a doctor's appointment along with Mike's aunt. Mike's aunt wants custody of Abby. Using Mike's job loss as an excuse, it appears likely that his aunt would get custody of Abby. Desperate, Mike calls Steve and agrees to work as a night security guard. Before starting his first shift, Mike arranges for a babysitter to watch Abby. Mike arrives at his job, a place called Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, well-known kids' restaurant featuring big singing animatronics. Mike walks into his building and arrives in an office. He watches the welcome video and hears strange noises. Without giving it any thought, Mike falls asleep. He dreams of his brothers getting kidnapped again. But this time, there are five children. They are a new presence in his dream. Confused, Mike chases after one of the kids, only to stumble and fall in the dream. He wakes up and has finished his first shift. After work, he goes back to Abby. Mike's babysitter then leaves to go to a diner. She meets with her brother, Mike's aunt, and Mike's aunt's attorney. It turns out that Mike's aunt hired the babysitter to gather evidence against him, including allegations of child neglect in order to gain custody of Abby. The babysitter informs Mike's aunt that she found nothing and therefore does not get paid. In order to get Mike fired and give Mike's aunt custody of Abby, they devise a plan to break into Freddy Fazbear's house and smash everything. Mike goes back to Freddy Fazbear's for his second night. Once again, Mike falls asleep. He dreams about his brother's kidnapping, and the five children are there again. The kids run away so Mike chases a, a different child. He catches a child who has hook in one hand. The boy swings his hook at Mike and cuts his arm. Mike is then woken up by a buzzing at the door. Opening the door, Mike is met by Vanessa, a police officer who has loved Freddy Fazbear since her childhood. It appears that the cut he received in his dream was real, as he's bleeding from his arm. Vanessa wraps his arm and tells Mike about Freddy's and how popular it was back in the 80s. She alludes to the high turnover rate, hinting at Mike not lasting long in his job. She appears to be familiar with Freddy's. She introduces Mike to the gang. This includes Foxy, Chica, Bonnie, and Freddy. She presses a button which brings the crew to life as they perform, only to have the electricity cut off due to a large spark. Vanessa and Mike both depart as the day progresses. On his way out, Mike forgets to lock all the entrances to Freddy's. It is revealed that the babysitter's brother is observing and has noticed that Freddy's is unlocked. Then the babysitter shows up at Freddy Fazbear's with her brother and two of their friends. As planned, they break in and start demolishing the place. In the process, one of the thugs notices a fridge banging and shaking. He opens the fridge to find Chica's cupcake. He hears a voice behind him and looks away. He looks back in the fridge and the cupcake is gone. He looks back again to see Chica and her cupcake. Chica's cupcake jumps on him and bit him in the face. Hearing his friend's screams, one thug comes running over. He sees Cupcake attacking his friend while Chica looks at him. Terrified, the man runs away. Desperate, he hides in a warehouse, 
but Bonnie stands behind him and begins to attack and kill him. Looking for their friends, the babysitter and brother find their bodies. He runs to the exit, but it's locked. Then Foxy arrives and runs down the hall, killing the babysitter's brother. The babysitter was sitting outside in the car. Getting impatient, she goes to see where everyone is. She sees a child. The boy guides her through Freddy Fazbear's and leads her to Freddy Fazbear himself. From the animatronic suit, a child's voice can be heard. She approaches Freddy's mouth to look inside the suit. She is pulled into Freddy's mouth and bitten in half by a child's hand that emerges from the suit. Vanessa shows up at Mike's house. Mike and Vanessa go on a walk as Mike tells Vanessa about his brother's abduction. Vanessa throws Mike's sleeping pills in a river, turning him not to sleep on the job anymore. At night, Mike tries to call the babysitter to ask her to watch Abby. He receives no reply. With no options left, Mike brings Abby to Freddy Fazbear's to join him on his ship shift. When he gets to Freddy's, Vanessa's vehicle is parked outside. Vanessa is upset with Mike because he failed to look up properly, as a result of which Freddy's has now been smashed up. She then leaves. Mike prepares a tent in his office for Abby to sleep. While Abby sleeps, Mike cleans up all the mess that the thugs had made. After cleaning up all of the mess, Mike goes back to his office and falls asleep. In his dream he meets with the kids once more. This time, they choose not to flee. When one of the children informs Mike that they know who abducted his brother, the child demands something in exchange. The child walks off, leaving a picture of an animatronic rabbit in the dirt, and Mike says he would give anything. Suddenly, the sound of Abby screaming wakes Mike up. She's no longer in the office. Mike rushes out of the office and sees Freddy, Bonnie, Chica and Foxy surrounding Abby. He runs over only to find that she was tickled by the animatronics. Abby is not attacked and tells Mike that the animatronics are her friends. Startled, Mike grabs Abby and leaves as his shift ends. Back at home, Mike notices that one of the pictures Abby had drawn was a picture of Garrett's kidnapping, just as he remembered. Mike asked Abby about the picture. She confirms that one of the children from his dreams had told Abby about the kidnapping, and confirms to Mike that the children are the spirit possessing the animatronics at Freddy's and not part of his imagination. Mike realizes he can use Abby to communicate with the children, so he brings her back for his fourth shift. They arrive at Freddy Fazbear and find Vanessa already there. Vanessa stares at a picture on the wall of a golden bunny holding the hands of five children. Mike confronts Vanessa about the animatronics and asks her if she knows they are possessed. Vanessa tells Mike she knew. Abby runs up to the animatronics, hugs them and gives them a high five. Mike, Abby, Vanessa and all the animatronics then have a party. Then Bonnie falls on his back. He gives a thumbs up to show he's okay while everyone else, including the animatronics, falls on their backs. Vanessa says they need a roof for the structure they are building. So she and Mike go into a back office to find the materials. Mike finds the baby's animatronics on the floor. Lifeless, he goes to touch her, but Vanessa tells him not to do it. Vanessa grabs a stick and plunges it into the baby's exposed chest. The spring locks of baby's suit then activate, clamping down on the stick. Vanessa and Mike return to the animatronics and then have a party. The animatronics start singing their songs while everyone dances and has fun. This is interrupted when Abby touches Bond's guitar, resulting in a massive electric shock. Abby faints but wakes up without serious injury. Vanessa then tells Mike that if he ever takes Abby to Freddy again, she will shoot him. Then she leaves and so do Mike and Abby. At home, Mike calls his aunt to babysit Abby so he can return to his fifth shift. Abby sees her aunt and is really upset because she thinks Mike is giving up on her. She runs into her room and scribbles Mike's faces on all her pictures. Mike apologizes and tells her it's not what she thinks. Mike then goes to Freddy's for his final shift. Mike arrives at his office and falls asleep again. Then he meets the child again. The kid tells Mike that he wants Abby in exchange for the information about Garrett's kidnapper. Mike initially agrees to the offer, but then immediately regrets it. He quickly rejects the offer. The ghost child disappears. Mike is then attacked by all five ghost children in his dream. He is constantly being cut and scratched. Mike then wakes up in the same devices seen at the beginning of the film. The Freddy mask slowly lowers onto Mike's face, but Mike notices that the original guard has loosened the screws. Mike can loosen the bolt and free himself from the device. Still with all his injuries, Mike rushes to the exit of Freddy's, but it is locked. Then Foxy appears and runs towards Mike. It then cuts to Abby and her aunt at their house. Freddy arrives at the house and kills Mike's aunt. Freddy then convinces Abby to follow him back to Freddy. They then get into a taxi driven by Corey. 
They are then driven back to Freddy. It cuts back to Mike waking up in a police camp with Vanessa tending to his wounds. Vanessa had rescued Mike from Freddy's. Vanessa then tells Mike that she is William Afton's daughter. She also tells him that it was her father who kidnapped Garrett, although she did not know it at the time of meeting Mike. She also tells Mike that not only do the children's souls possess the animatronics, but their bodies are also inside the suits. She gives Mike a taser and a cattle prod and tells Mike that electricity is effective against the animatronics, temporarily knocking them out. Mike puts the taser in the cat bar and enters Freddy's through a vent. He sees Abby being taken to the back of Freddy's by Chica. He leaves the ventilation shaft and sneaks to the main stage. He pours a bucket of water onto the stage and shoots his taser into it. This shot talks to Freddy and Bonnie and knocks them down. Chica leads Abby into a room with the animatronic baby in a chair. Chica then tries to force Abby into the baby animatronics. Mike comes and insults Chica. Abby and Mike run away, but Chica's cupcake attacks Mike and bites his leg. Mike tells Abby to run away while he fights the cupcake. Foxy comes looking for Abby. Abby ends up hiding in a bullpit. Foxy is about to find Abby until Vanessa arrives and insults Foxy. Foxy is knocked out and Vanessa saves Abby. Mike sees him use the catted on the cupcake, defeating it. Mike then tries to catch up with Abby, but is stopped by a new animatronic, a golden rabbit. This animatronic can talk and tells Mike that he's gotten too close to the truth. The golden rabbit then knocks Mike unconscious. Vanessa confronts the golden rabbit and holds it at gunpoint. The golden rabbit takes off his mask and it turns out to be Steve Raglin, the man who gave Mike the job. This man turns out to be William Aton, the man who owns Freddy Fazbear's, the man who kidnapped Mike's brother, and the man who killed the children and stuffed their bodies into the animatronic suits. William tells the animatronics to wake up, and all the animatronics get back up. He tells Vanessa that she wouldn't shoot him and calls her bluff, instead Vanessa shoots William in the body. Outraged, William attacks Vanessa and begins to choke her. He says all she had to do was keep Mike in the dark and stop him from fighting the truth. That means it wasn't a coincidence that Vanessa arrived at Freddy's at the same time as Mike. William had used Vanessa to keep Mike in the dark, but Vanessa changed her mind. Vanessa then tells Mike, who has just woken up, that the animatronics don't know and he has to tell them the truth. William then stabs Vanessa in the stomach. Mike tells Abby to get a picture of the truth as William begins to approach Mike. Abby draws a picture of the golden rabbit killing the five children. She tears down the picture of the golden rabbit holding hands with the five children and replaces it with the new one. This causes the animatronics to remember what happened to them. They remember that William was the one who killed them and stuffed their bodies into the suits. Chica's cupcake then lunges at William and bites his suit. This causes the spring locks in William's suit to malfunction and become stuck while William is still wearing the suit. As the spring locks continue to grip, Freddy, Rabbit, Chica and Foxy drag William to the back of Freddy's house. Mike picks up Vanessa and leaves Freddy's with Abby as the whole building begins to fall apart. A time jump then occurs. It shows Abby making friends at school and becoming more normal. Mike has full custody of Abby and seems much happier. Mike visits Vanessa, who is now in the hospital in a coma. Mike tells her he will be waiting for her when she wakes up. Then it cuts to William, who is slumped over in Freddy's storage room, still twitching and moaning because the spring latch isn't working. One of the girls watches William suffer before closing the supply room door, leaving William for dead. The film ends with William dying and presumably turning into a springtrap. 